This is not the first time that you've had to deliver one of these eulogies. I know you are there uh, with the community, still grief-stricken, uh, still trying to heal from this. What is your message going to be today? Well, one of the things I think we need to make clear is that this is a funeral that should not have happened. This is an unarmed young man going in his grandmother's house five feet from where she sleeps, and he was shot at 20 times. Justice must be served. This is not the first incident in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And unlike what the White House said yesterday, this is not a local issue, it's a national issue. And it needs to be addressed nationally as people mourn here today. So I think that what we are going to say is the life of this young man is not expendable. The community has come together, all religions, all races, to say that we cannot continue to have unarmed people shot and killed by those that we entrust to protect and serve. And I think that the protests that have been daily have been nonviolent, but very pointed, because they want the world to know his name. Stefan Clark's name ought to resonate to represent what we pursue, and that is justice in the criminal justice system. And Reverend, I want to follow up with you on the point that you make, the message that we heard coming out of the White House yesterday. I was there in the briefing room when Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said that it was, in fact, a local issue. And I pressed her about that. I want to show you her response and then get your reaction on the other side. On the rulings that have taken place in the last few days, those are things that have to be done at a local level, and they're not federal decisions at this point in time. But there are a lot of African-American moms all across the country feel as though their sons are dying. So doesn't the president feel like he needs to do something about that? I think we should do every single thing we can every single day to protect the people of this country. And that's why this president has focused on safety and security as a big part of the priorities of this administration, both through securing uh, our borders and stopping the flow of drugs, stopping the flow of gangs, stopping um, the number of school shootings. Reverend, now, what's your reaction to hearing that? It's double talk. This had nothing to do with the borders. This had nothing to do with anything other than a young man going into his grandmother's house. Now, they had an overview uh, camera that was telling the police where they thought the person they were looking for was going. We do not know that if it was Stefan or not. But if you knew where he was going, then why do you pursue him then act as though you think he has a gun and immediately begin shooting at him as the video shows. So I think that it has been the tradition of those that want to evade the issues to act like it's just local. We heard that for centuries. It is not a local issue. It is all over the country. Look what Louisiana just ruled about Baton Rouge. Look at what we've seen all over the country. This is a national issue. The president needs to address it and the Congress needs to address it, and we're here in Sacramento to make sure that we support those on the ground that are seeking to address it, and this family that should not be burying their son, their grandson, their brother, and the father of two children. This is something that really speaks to us of the need to deal with this issue and deal with it nationally. Reverend, now, before I let you go, former President Obama obviously spoke about the tensions between communities of color, police departments, in very personal terms. He created a task force, and yet a lot of people still don't think all of that went far enough. Uh, why is this something that we're still grappling with? Did the previous administration do enough? I think the previous administration started uh, in that direction with uh, body cameras from that commission. Many of us that lead civil rights groups were involved with that. This president has not said anything. The disturbing thing is at the scene, these policemen are recorded saying, hit the moot button, cut off the sound. And they hit the moot button like President Trump has been moot on these issues. We need to take the moot button off, find out what's going on and why, and why is it always unarmed black men. President Trump needs to address this issue as President Obama addressed it, and that is why people are protesting and we will continue to protest until we get justice. We're not anti-police, we're anti-police brutality. When you have a young man about to be buried, 22 years old, 
and no one can say why where a cell phone is mistaken when you could have called for backup there's no reason that we're having this funeral today and we're going to fight with this family to get those reasons answered